Sports Stars Magazine here with uh, the woman of the hour, the woman of the year, the great May Cordes. 18 kills and 35 attempts with only two hitting errors and an open division state championship. Just a reminder why she's one of the best in, uh, in the United States. May I, I guess the only thing that, that you know I, I feel for you is that you didn't get to be on the court terminating the last ball tonight. Like, were you thinking about that when I got to 23 was. and 24? Yeah. Um, usually, if I miss my serve, she takes me out just because she's mad. And I missed it. I was like, I'm not going to be on the court. And then I saw Maya go in for me. I was like, you know, it's okay. Um, I'm so grateful to be but, here. But so. you led the charge into yes, the dog yes, pile. Yes, 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 yes. I did. May. I'm so incredibly impressed not only with the run the group has been on, but just the emotional maturity and the composure to reset after such a big night on Tuesday. Just what was that like, you know? I mean, obviously, new opportunity, new challenge, great, you know, great MIDI team, but just to be able to, to, to reset and say like, look, that was one goal that we checked off, but it's not the ultimate goal. Yeah, we knew that wasn't the finals. A lot of we were, we knew they were gonna be a good team. Um, we knew they would challenge us, uh, modern day. But we knew that we had work to do today, and um, I think we practiced really well this week. Um, we knew um, we were gonna have to take on them, and they had a pretty good win over St. Francis, so we knew they'd be on a high. Um, but we. Like we knew we had to control our side. Um, we couldn't let them get in our heads and we just had to go all out. Obviously you know better than anyone, not only the level that you play at in club, but certainly for one of the best high school teams in the country. Maybe tonight the best team in the country. Just uh, for, uh, for you and, the, and, and this group to play the schedule that you play and to finish 46 and three you know, with 23 consecutive wins. And like I said, only three sets dropped since September 21st in, in Durango. Like, for people that don't understand, like, how hard is that and how proud are you of that? Yeah, I mean, our league is pretty on the easier side, and so I think it's kind of difficult for us for us to challenge ourselves through league. Um, but, like, the other night I was looking, we haven't lost a home game in, like, six years. And I think it's just amazing, and we don't, um, like, think about that enough. Um, but, like, playing Torrey Pines, playing Modern Day, playing all those tough teams, it's just great preparation and getting those – wins is super helpful for us and it gives us a lot of confidence. So fun fact that wasn't discussed and I don't even know if you ladies like if it's present mind this group like you said hasn't lost at home in six years this group did not lose on California soil this year. Yeah I did not know that. Right lost in Hawaii yeah. early and then the only other two losses were in Vegas. Yeah. The fact that this group took everybody's best shot whether you had to go to, to them or they came to you whether it was at Dave Moe's whether it was at SoCal Invitational certainly throughout the, uh, the, you know, the section playoffs, the regional playoffs, and now tonight, to not, like, in the toughest state in the United States, yeah. I don't care what Texas says, this yeah. is the toughest state in the United States, to not lose to anybody on California soil, like, how, like, I mean, is that just like the, the final feather in the cap for May Corus in the group? Even, yeah, I didn't even realize that, but that's so amazing. Um, there's so much competition in the state, and I think especially this year, we kind of didn't know what we were capable of, and we knew that the California and this team were great. Our day was good, Marymount, Miracosta, they were all super tough. Um, and getting past them in the Southern um, Finals was just amazing. Most definitely. It, last thing, if I had asked May Cordes on September 21st, even after that, you know, that, uh, that, that little hiccup, did you still know in your heart, did this group still know in its collective heart that we can be the last team standing at the end? Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I didn't, we didn't even have a lot of confidence after that. Um, I think, I don't know if Dave Mose was, I think Dave Mose was after that. No, no, he, Dave Mose was before. Oh, it was. And, okay. the, uh, and so obviously that was an amazing moment, yeah. right? But, the, but the, like I said, but the thing that I'm so impressed with, I mean, I mean, people can look at 46 and 3 and they can look at yeah. section title and regional title and state title. But to go 23 match, I mean, you had to play Torrey Pines multiple times. Yeah. You know, San Marcos is obviously, you know, yeah. like, I mean, like, they're a team that has to be respected. And then to go through that gauntlet of, you know, Torrey Pines again to win the section final, plus Los Alamitos, plus Redondo, plus Modern Day, and, and, and plus Midi. I challenge, I don't care if it's Byron Nelson, Preston Wickers, I challenge all yeah. of them to go through that gauntlet. Yeah. And to, to do it, not dropping a match and only dropping three sets, period. Yeah. So, I mean, just the fact that, like, the group not, not only showed its talent at the highest level but showed its resilience showed its perseverance like how much does that mean to you it means so much i'm so proud of everybody on this team um like you said this is one of the toughest states in the country to play um, high school volleyball in and we just progressed so much throughout the year and we worked so hard i would never believe we would make it to this moment i would never think i'd be back here at a state championship and win it um but it's so amazing well uh you shared in there that it was fun to watch in 2022 yes everybody was watching may cordis tonight and throughout the year congratulations well deserved thank you I think it's just like, I'm really proud of myself because I feel like two years ago we were here, it was kind of just like, 
we were going to win. Like, there was no question about it. Like, I didn't feel like we really had to do a lot to, like, win the state title. Um, but this year, I think it was so much different. Um, I think we had to work so hard, and I'm so proud of everyone because I still, this doesn't feel real. <laughs> May, can you, can you uh, give us, like, a quick synopsis about what exactly happened with, was insect, or, like, what, what exactly? And, and I, what, what exactly happened in that scenario? I like turned around and Maya was yelling at Maddie and I thought that there was like a, something on her face. Oh, no. <laughs> so I was like, what's going on? And I saw the giant spider. So I was like, right, I got this, guys, don't worry. And then I grabbed the web and tried to walk it out and then it started crawling up the web. And so then I, then I gave up and threw it. Yeah. So, so you're, uh, you're going you're gonna to be tender with the spider, but you're going you're gonna to be yeah. all out of salt with the, with the ball. Yes. <laughs> a, benevol a benevolent terminator that yeah. May Cordes is. <laughs>